come down here because it was raining outside but I tell you what did you come down here to have a good time if you did say yeah yeah hey by the way we're gonna have a little contest I want everybody to reach up underneath their nose and take off that smile and put it on your lap because in just a minute we're gonna use that smile so when I count to three you know why magicians say when I count to three most of them can't count to four, but we can count to four. We're gonna count to three this time, and everybody's gonna smile. This is a rehearsal. Everybody, the one who smiles the biggest and shows the most teeth gets a prize. This is a rehearsal. One, two, three, smile! <laughs> oh boy, I see some Western teeth out there. Those are the wide open spaces. Okay, listen, this time, this time, we are going to have the contest. Everybody, reach up. Wipe off that smile, put it on your lap. We're going to use it in just a minute. On the count of three, everybody smile. The one who shows the most teeth gets a prize. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, I showed the most teeth. I get the prize. <laughs> well, nobody said it was going to be fair. No. These are Grandma's teeth. <laughs> she left them in a glass. She left a bit of glass. She used to talk on the telephone all the time. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, we're going to put... Would you be quiet there while we... We're going to... We're going to have to put Grandma away because she likes to talk. As I put Grandma away, everybody say goodbye to Grandma. Bye. Goodbye, Grandma. Yeah. By the way, when I came in here a while ago, I had a beautiful bouquet of flowers, and somebody picked those flowers you've had. Wait a minute. They said these were magic flowers. If I had a magic wand, we could make some flowers. I happen to have a magic wand. If you'll excuse me, I'll go get the magic wand. We're going to make some flowers. OK, as I get the magic wand, we're going to. What's the matter? You misunderstood me. I said, when I get the flowers, when I get the magic wand, we'll make some flowers. What's the matter with these guys? They don't know. Listen, I'll get the magic wand. We're going to make some flowers. I am so excited. Here we go. Oh, mercy. You just don't understand, do you? <laughs> when, I get, <laughs> when I get the magic wand, we're going to make some flowers. I get the magic wand. We're going to make some flowers. Here we go. I was afraid of that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Listen, boys and girls, if you really believe, we will make flowers. If you believe, say, I believe. I believe. For every drop of rain that falls. <laughs> I just threw that in. Did you like it? Well, we'll probably throw it out. OK, listen. If you really believe, we're going to make some flowers. If you believe, say, I believe. There's someone out there that don't believe. I guess we're going to have to say it just a little bit louder. I believe. Oh, oh look at that. You do believe, and we did make flowers. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for the flowers. In this bag, I have a duck. Sir, would you like to see a duck? Gentleman in the corner would like to see a duck. A duck for the gentleman. <laughs> I, I guess you had to be there. OK, it doesn't matter. In the bag, we have a duck. Watch carefully. Oh, mercy, we forgot the. <laughs> yeah, he's happy about that. Listen, the duck's not in a bag with spots on the outside and purple on the inside. The duck's in a bag with purple on the outside. The spots were on the inside. <laughs> no, the stripes were on the outside, the purple on the inside. That's right, I remember now. Yes, the stripes and the, the green. The green was on the outside, the stripes were on the in. Oh. Oh, mercy. I'll, I'll tell you what, 
I know, I know there's some of you out there don't believe that we have a duck in the bag, but ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for your enjoyment and Megan's, the duck. Let's hear it for the, 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 oh, don't you guys like ducks? That's my duck. Okay. I was just fooling. That's a balloon soon to be a duck. Watch carefully, boys and girls. We're going to make a duck. Watch carefully. <laughs> What's the matter? Hey, this thing's got a hole in it. No wonder it wouldn't blow it. I got the wrong end. That's terrible. Okay, that the right end? Hey, the right end. Hey, okay, here we go. Hey, this thing's got a hole in both of I had the wrong end. I guess it's two hands for beginners. Here we go. Two hands for beginners. That's the right place. Yeah. That's the right end. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the duck. <laughs> oh, mercy. Ah, that's not funny. I know what you guys like. You like to see me hurt. Lady in the back says he's not hurt, he's dying. <laughs> Doesn't matter, okay. The duck. Ta-da! The duck. Oh, I know it's not a duck, I was just kidding. This is a, uh, hello everybody, hello. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> you, know, you guys like, you watch television? This, this is called Love Boat. Bye! Goodbye. Uh, here's a level. Oh, a ribbon for your hair. Glasses. <laughs> Lips. <laughs> Bow tie. Wings. <laughs> Television. Goodbye. <laughs> level. Okay, you're gonna make me do it. I know. I know. Someone says he can't do it. I can do it. Watch. Dun da dun da 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 da. You know why I sing? Da, 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 da. I forgot my orchestra. <laughs> da, 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 da. <sighs> For a minute, I thought I was going to have to leave it. <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. The duck. The duck. Orange bananas. <laughs> Boy, you guys don't like nothing. Here we go. Da 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 da. How about a snail in a rowboat? You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? Da 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 Hey guys, we are in luck. You know what's gonna happen right now? We're gonna have some music. You're gonna love it. John Coner, Scott Coner, and John Burbank. 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 I knew I'd get it if he held it up there long enough. So if you'll excuse for just a minute, they're gonna come in and really give you a good song. Let's bring them on with a big hand, shall we? Well, I don't know if I'll get the chance to say goodbye again. I think that I'm gonna take the time to speak to all my friends. You know we've had some good times Special times indeed We drank a lot of whiskey And we smoked a lot of weed Well, look at us We're young adults now It's our turn We're gonna change the world Look around at all My friends' faces out there 
and all the girls that I have adored. and welcome to Section 8 in the news. As you may or may not know, Section 8 is putting up one of the first manned space satellites. Since the French have had problems with theirs and had to explode a few, and ours is a little low budget, we've decided to man it, and we have the inventor and the first astronaut with us tonight. We have Danny Ray, the inventor, and Dara Leakes. I'm glad you could be here. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on and uh, what we might have here in the background? Well, thank you. Uh, what you see behind us is, well, we've been testing our new jet rocket, and we've stirred up a little dust in, you know, the neighborhood, and, you know, the, the, the neighbors, they understand what we're trying to do, and Mr. Darrell Leak, of course, will be involved in the manned space flight. We're putting up our own satellite. That's right. Section 8 Productions will have their own manned satellite. Is this so that uh, people around the world can view the troubles in your set? Is that true? Well, actually, I put it together with the components I purchased down at Radio Hut, you know, and, and other broken little uh, stereo 8-track cassettes and, and things, and, and it's just low budget, actually. Well, does this uh, worry you in the least, Derelicts, that we may not have the money that NASA or one of them might have? No, I'm sure he's cut all the right corners. It looks real neat, and I'm impressed that everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. That's ground beef con control talk, you know. Yeah, well, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you might be... Look, where's this going to be taking off from? Well, actually, it's uh, Carl Baker's neighborhood. Um, maybe we can get a picture of it here on the uh, screen. Uh, perhaps not, but uh, Carl Baker, his neighborhood, it's a, it's a nice little area, and uh, he actually, you know, passed around a petition. They said it was okay. As you can see, there's, there's all the homes... We, and it's a safe place to launch. We picked it's the safest place to launch, you know. Uh, how was this all made possible? Uh, have there been a lot of people working with you and that kind of thing? Have you got good quality people? Well, yes, the best. Of course, we tested hundreds of men before we came up with Mr. Darrell Leak. As you can see, it's I, nationwide. Highly trained technicians, and they wear, as you can see, some real nice clothes. Well, that's important in any business endeavor, as everyone knows. And, uh, like, uh, have you been, do you have like a headquarters that you're working from? Well, you know, Carl's got the back part of his basement. We've set up a complete ground beef control. It can track, it can predict. We can even call out for food on there. You can see right now where Mr. Darrell Leak will be traveling. We have his path plotted. Well, that's, that's really great. And is this like through space age equipment that this has all been made possible? Well, yes, I thought other than have a bunch of buttons he'd push, I used voice control mechanisms. And I thought everyone would have a different catchy little phrase. Clichés, actually. One would be sharp as a tack. One would be dumb as a ringer. Well, that's excellent. I, I'm really impressed at all the technology and everything you put into it. Uh, can you show us maybe a, 
a picture of what people need to receive this program in the future? Well, it's like a ski dish or anything, you know, a pie pan. You wire it right. Danny, he, Dan, just go down to Danny Ray's TV repair shop. He's got everything to watch it. The, chi the Chinese wok works pretty good for a reception dish. Well, that's excellent. And maybe just as last, uh, can we give an example of what the rocket might look like? Well, it's big and it's long. And now, this one, it's nice, but it's not ours. We've got a lot of power, a lot of boost, but it's just don't have that Hoosier home touch to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, we all know what you mean, and we're sure anxious to see that lift off here in a couple of weeks. But uh, meanwhile, I think we ought to get back to some true excitement here in our own studios and how back back to our fabulous musician. That exciting? They're gonna send a rocket up in this neighborhood. I hope I can get there when they do it. Hey, you want to see some good stuff? I got something over here. Hey, you know, I did this for the Girl Scouts and they loved it. This is called <laughs> Jane and the Beanstalk. I got a roll of newspaper here. And this is called, wait a minute, Jane and the Beanstalk. Was it Jane and the Beanstalk? Who was it? Jack, Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah, you know, don't you? Tell you what, this is called Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack lived with his father. And one day, Jack's father says, I. Was it the father? Grandma. It was grandma. <laughs> well, it was a mother. That's right. Mother says, Jack, what I want you to do is I want you to take the pig to town. And as you go, take the cow. The cow. Hey, have you ever had a day where everything goes wrong? Yeah. I'm having one right now. I'm kind of sorry we started this, but it doesn't matter. Take the cow to town, and then on the way to town, he met a little old man with a handful of jelly beans. They melt in your hand, not in your mouth, as he took these jelly... What's the matter now? They... No, they weren't magic beans. They were... They weren't uh, M&Ms. They were magic beans. Took those beans home, and Mother just loved them beans. <laughs> she took the... And she... And what's the matter? She threw them out. Oh, mercy. What'd she do that for? She didn't like them. She threw them out the... Got your funny bone, huh? Doesn't matter. I'll get them back. Listen. She threw them out the window, and what happened to the beans? Into what? A beanstalk. A beanstalk. And boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I wanted to be right now. She did. Yeah, she threw them out the window, and they grew into a lovely beanstalk, and that's where I wanted to be right about here because that beanstalk, it grew, and it grew, and it grew. And ladies and gentlemen, that beanstalk grew, and grew, help me say it, and grew, and grew, and grew, and grew. And grew. I know it's not growing. You guys was having so much fun. I just, you know. <laughs> and it grew. And grew. And grew. And grew. And grew. <laughs> you know what? That silly thing grew and grew and grew and grew. It, it didn't know when to stop, but I do. Thank you very much. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm going to, let's have some fun. Let's make this educational. I'm going to teach you how to cut a rope in half and put it back together. And we're going to do this doing the Chinese method in old Hong Kong, a magician by the name of Hung Wan. His, his brother, his brother was hung too. Listen, he taught me how to do this, and if you watch this close, you'll see how to do it. I'm going to teach it. Here we go. Now, what you do is you put the rope up between the fatty part of the thumb and the fingers. Hold on tight. And so, uh, I know some of you don't have a fatty part, but I've got enough for everyone. Doesn't matter. Listen, put the fatty part, put the other end up between the two fingers, and hold on tight. Don't let go. Take the swing part of the rope. See it? <laughs> Take the swing, put it up between the thumb, hold on tight, don't let go. <laughs> Get the swing part of the rope, put it up between the thumb and the fingers, hold on tight, don't let go as you, 
Oh, mercy. Listen. Get the swing part of the rope, place it up between the two fingers, and hold on tight. Don't let go. <laughs> now listen, here's something that nobody's going to tell you. I'm going to tell you today. You don't have to cut the rope. Yeah. You know, if you come up with a pair of scissors, I call them scissors because I can't say scissors. If you come up with a pair of scissors, what's the matter? No, I can't say, no, I can't say scissors. I call them scissors. No, I told you I can't say scissors. I call them scissors. Okay, listen. You don't have to cut the rope. You come up and make the noise and people think you cut it. Come up as close as you can, cut, but don't cut the rope. Just make the noise and they, they think, I said, don't cut the rope, and you guys sat right there and let me cut the rope. Okay, here's the part. If you cut the rope, then you have to put it back together. Here's how they do it in China. Take the long rope, hold it between your... <laughs> now, take the short rope. Almost made a mistake, guys. Take the short rope, hold it between the fingers, and... <laughs> you know what? It would just be easier if you don't cut the rope. If you don't, if you don't cut the rope, then you don't have to put it back together, and we don't want you to have to do that. So don't cut the rope. Thank you. Hey, you know what's coming up later? We're going to have some people coming up here in the next few weeks. We're going to have the uh, spurtles. Spaceman, side one, not two, side one, and Quasar. They're coming up in the next few weeks. And now they're going to close off with some beautiful music from Rick Freeman and James Who. Let's all listen now. Rick Freeman, James Who. Who.